Okay, so I bought this demagnetizer, a degausser. Um, let me check it out. It has no identifying marks. Um, it did come with a page of instructions that I misplaced and can't find now. It basically says turn it on and, and go. I bought these because my good calipers had become magnetized. This was because I'd done something stupid like measure very powerful magnets with uh, my good calipers. And if you do this a couple of times, you'll find out that you magnetize the stupid thing. And <clears throat> you always have pieces, chips of metal in between the jaws. And it gets to be really hard to get accurate measurements uh, that way. So, here we go. We're going to plug this thing in. See what happens. It has an on off switch. That's nice. And it says what we're supposed to do is pass the tool across this platen here makes a nice hum. Calipers are on just to see if it dies. Seems to be running. Seems to be a 60 hertz electromagnet of some sort. But it works no longer picks up pieces of metal no damage done to the calipers um, we can try the same thing with the cheap Pittsburgh Pittsburgh calipers see if they die once again we measure our magnets our calipers then become magnetized and pick up pieces of metal. And here we go. And let's see. Yep, demagnetized. Still works. Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad. So I thought next. Oh, I want to try an experiment. So I have a small rare earth magnet here. I'm going to put it on top and turn it on. Woo! It flies up in the air. Dang, I lost it. Huh. Well, I have another one. Here's another. Rare earth magnet. Woo. Kind of flies around. Let's turn it over. Yep. Flies all over the place. And then you lose it. Okay, that's a great way to lose magnets, apparently. But let's unplug it. Open this up. See what's in here. Machine screws seem to be just tapped into the sheet metal. Pretty heavy gauge. Not sure what it is. Sheet metal seems to be, what's that? About 46, 46 thousandths. Pretty stout, I guess. Yeah, we can open this up. Yes, this is this is a piece of stainless steel, non-magnetic. Probably a reason for that. And in here, we just have a coil and an iron core. It's just an electromagnet. <clears throat> the power comes into the switch. 
it's grounded to the box and the two leads just go into the coil so no moving parts pretty simple simple mechanism okay have fun one last shot with the magnet so we'll put this on and turn it off Basically, all I will do is tell me where the, the field is. There's a vibration out here. Pretty much nothing in the middle, but it will throw the magnet. A little wiggling out here. Not much. Dang, I lost another magnet. Okay.